What is this memory? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Where are you? It looks like a cave. A cave? Mm hmm. Um, thin. I'm thin. Mm hmm. Take a look at this body. Is it clothed at all? I don't have a shirt. No shirt. Mm hmm. Look at your feet. I have no shoes. Mm -hmm. What's the condition of your body? I'm kind of dirty. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're doing in that cave today. Why are you there? I feel like I'm looking for something. Mm-hmm. Are you carrying anything? I'm not carrying anything. Mm hmm What is it that you're looking for? I think I live there. I live there. Tell me more. I'm by myself. Mm-hmm. Have you lived in this cave long? No. No. The cave is not that long. Mm-hmm. It's a small cave. But it's well protected. Mm-hmm. What are you protecting yourself from? The weather. Mm-hmm. What happened outside that you need to protect yourself? The heat. Mm hmm But it's green outside. Tell me more about this life. It's green outside. A lot of nature. Mm-hmm. But I'm by myself. Have you always been by yourself? No. So let's find out about a little bit about what happened before you lived in that cave. I want you to close that scene and go back in time a little bit before you were in that cave when your life was different. Be there now. Where are you? In a town. Mm-hmm. What does this town look like? It looks like 1800s. Mm-hmm. Are there a lot of people there or animals? What do you see? A lot of people. Mm hmm I have a family. Where is I'm it? assuming mm -hmm. I'm with a wife. You're with a wife? It's a white woman. A white woman? She's well dressed. Mm -hmm. I am too. And we have a little girl. Mm. Where is it that you live? I live in a house. It's not a poor house, but it's not a rich house either. Mm -hmm. But um, I do well. You do well. So let's find out a little bit about what you do for a living. I'd like for you to close this scene and see yourself doing what you do to make a life for yourself. I'm a merchant. I'm a merchant. Mm -hmm. I do textiles. I buy and sell them from the ports. Mm -hmm. 
Are you very good at what you do? I am good at what I do. Mm -hmm. I have good connections to the people bringing them in. What's important about this job of yours? I like doing business. Mm -hmm. I like doing business, good. I think I'm French. You're French. Mm -hmm. So listen to yourself speaking to those that are coming. You may even notice some of the words that come. What do you say to them? I'm greeting people. Mm -hmm. I wish them a good day. Always wishing them a good day? Yes. Mm, nice. Some ask me how business is going. Tell them well. Very good. So now let's close the scene and move forward to the next important scene from that lifetime. Something that really changes everything in your life. Be there now. A little girl is sick. Mm -hmm. What's happened? I can't stop the fever. My wife is crying. How are you feeling? Um, I'm crying myself. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. Her name is Isabella. Mm -hmm. Look in Isabella's eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize Isabella in the lifetime of Pavel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look at your wife's eyes. Do you recognize those eyes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. What happens next? What happens with this fever? My wife is shaking. Telling me to do something. I run out. I'm yelling for help. Where do you go? I'm going to the doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm running back for help. He's a little chubby. Mm -hmm. The doctor is chubby? And he has a bag with his stuff. Mm -hmm. When I get home, my wife is crying. It's about a step. She's not responsive. She's just very, very sick. Mm -hmm. The doctor is working on her. Orders my wife to get him some water and put towels in it. He undresses Isabella and starts to put the towels on her to lower temperature. But it doesn't work. What happens next? Isabella. 
little Texas away. My wife and I are destroyed. The doctor says this may be contagious and leaves. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to close that scene now and go to the next important scene that takes you to that cave. Be there now. I'm hiding in that cave. I've been moving from place to place hiding. What are you hiding for? After Isabella died, my wife left me. And her family thinks I killed her. Mm -hmm. So they're looking for me. So I left everything and I hide. I keep hiding. Do you feel guilty? Or do you feel scared? I feel scared and I'm destroyed. Mm -hmm. And I don't care about myself anymore. Mm -hmm. Because I have lost my daughter. My wife has left. And now I'm being blamed. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to close that scene and go now to the last day of your life in that lifetime. The last day of your life. Be there now. Where are you? I'm in the house. Mm -hmm. Whose house is this? My house. Mm-hmm. What's happened? I see children. Mm-hmm. I'm old. Mm-hmm. And there's an old woman with me, also me and my wife. Are those your children? Yes. So what happened between the time of the cave and now? I redid my life elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I found another woman. You started all new? Yes. Mm -hmm. I still miss Isabella. Mm -hmm. She was so beautiful. Very good. So let's take the last breath in that lifetime. Take your last breath and release your bo your soul from that body. Release it. And when you release it, you'll be able to see that lifetime and understand the purpose of it and the lessons that you've learned. What was the purpose of living that life? Learn to let go. Learn to let go. What lessons? Did you learn now for the next life? I learned to be strong mm -hmm. and continue with life no matter what. Mm -hmm. I had given up at one point, but I persevered. Mm -hmm. And I found new hope. Mm -hmm. So how is this lifetime of this man affecting the lifetime of Pavel? This is what Pavel must do. Mm -hmm. He must persevere. He must drop things not help him. Mm -hmm. He's already dying it. Mm -hmm. But in this lifetime, he has chosen not to have children. It hasn't happened. Nor a wife. Why is it that in this lifetime, he did not go after that again? 
that's not important to him. Mm. But it is important for him to love. Do you have any other advice for him? He looks within them. He values the connection to others. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to continue on your journey after you leave that life and tell me what happens after you leave that lifetime of that man? Where do you go? I'm in space. Mm-hmm. Describe this place for me. What do you see? I see like a circle of light. Mm-hmm. It's gigantic. It's like a galaxy that I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. What do you notice that's interesting about this? All the colors. Mm-hmm. What colors do you see? Like a rainbow of colors. Mm-hmm. But it's very beautiful. And it's large. It's like the beginning of our galaxy. Mm-hmm. There's flashes here and there. Is there anything in particular that you're being drawn to? I see like a lot of flashing. It's like how the universe is being made. Mm -hmm. Where do you go to after you see all this flashing? It's like I'm an expectator. You're an expectator? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me what that is. It's as, as if I'm watching the universe being made. Mm. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? It's beautiful. What thoughts do you have as you're watching? I feel like this universe is going to help many species of all. Mm-hmm. Lots and tons of species. Mm-hmm. How is it going to help these species evolve? Become more conscious, more conscious civilizations. Mm-hmm. One will spring the other. And little by little they'll they grow in numbers. Mm-hmm. But they have to go through learning cycles. Mm-hmm. So their consciousness can be deep. Mm-hmm. What role do you play in all of this evolution of this species? I'm an overseer. Mm. What does an overseer do in the evolution of species? I make sure that things are working right. Mm -hmm. Making sure the vibrations are profound. The whole universe works like a ticking clock, even though time does not exist. Mm -hmm. But the energies transmute from one place to another, something like night and day, but in a galactic sense. Now a ticking clock is very precise. Yes. Does this mean that the universe has a precise movement or action? 
It's like the energies come into the earth now. Hmm. It's because our galaxy is moving into a different section of the universe. So our galaxy is entering this new energy. What kind of energy is the earth moving into? It's like a purple energy that will help not just humanity, but earth and all the galaxies and planets around it. Mm -hmm. So this is a change, not just for humans, as Pavel sees it, but to, for everyone around. Mm -hmm. How does one feel that energy? You feel it within, mm -hmm. as you connect with others, as what you feel for others. And this eventually connects you to source. Mm. So does that mean that in order to feel this change, we do need to connect with each other? We connect with each other as brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Whether you are the same species or not. Because at the end of the day, everybody comes from source. Mm. We are all one. So does this include nature also? Nature is different. Hmm. They're helpers. Oh. They're helpers to help humanity. Mm -hmm. All nature helps humanity. All animals help humanity. Hmm. But they're influenced by humans' consciousness. Mm -hmm. Nature kills each other because humans kill each other. Oh, so we're affecting nature. Yes. So nature in the true form is just helping. Yes. It doesn't hurt no. humans, but now things have changed. We're, we're still humans, still mm. affecting nature. Mm. But this will be changing. How will that be changing? What's this purple energy going to do to change the earth? It keeps humans more conscious of their actions with each other, with nature, and with itself. People become more conscious of what they do or even their thoughts. Mm -hmm. Because when they think they're creating, even though they think they're not, humans have the seed of God in them. So the humans have the seed of creation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they are creators themselves. Yes. It's hard for humans to think with their mind. Their minds can't comprehend. There's so many dimensions that they're not even aware of. That's why there's some humans that can live without eating because they connect to other dimensions. Mm. There's other ways of getting energy other than eating. Everyone is capable of doing so. It just depends how conscious you are. So what other ways can we get energy besides eating? Many others. Hmm. Light. Light? Are you saying that we can eat light? We can process light. Hmm. How does this human body process light. Something similar to plants. Mm -hmm. that process light in a specific chemical way. Through our Humans just absorb it. Okay. And let it be direct energy into their bodies. So like through our skin? Skin. Very little. Hmm. Eyes. 
the spirit is more knowledgeable and can digest life. But it takes time and consciousness to be able to get to that point. Mm -hmm. It can also connect to other dimensions or to also what humans call past or future mm -hmm. for energy. So I know that Pavel is right now doing a lot of meditation. Is he able to tap in to some of this energy? He has, but he doesn't know hmm. that he did. Can you tell him how he connected? When he meditates, sometimes he goes deep and he finds himself wondering and he's in a very good place but he doesn't explore he just gets to the place it's like when you go to the store and you like to browse but you don't buy nothing mm -hmm. so he's not buying anything he doesn't have to buy mm -hmm. he, he just has to take it he has to take it so, what suggestion would you like to give Pavel next time he meditates? When he meditates, not just fall into the bliss, mm -hmm. but be able to actually connect to those abilities that he already has within him. He must just call on it. Mm -hmm. He has already had a download. What is that download all about? He's curious. Yes, he doesn't understand it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even know a millionth of it. Well, first of all, how did he get that download? He seems to have been woken up in the middle of the night. Yes. Who was downloading this information to him? It was coming from source. Mm-hmm. He was ready. And what was the download all about? It's all the information that he needs mm -hmm. as he awakens. He is very special. He has great energy around him. Mm -hmm. He knows that, but he doesn't explore it. Mm -hmm. He carries that energy where he goes. He is a happy soul. But he can do more. What can he do with that energy? Can he heal? He can heal. He can create. Mm -hmm. He can bring changes. He doesn't ask. He doesn't ask. No. So they have that saying, seek and you shall find. Yes. Ask and it will be given. He's and not being asking. lazy. He's being lazy. Mm. So by being lazy, has that stopped him from doing what he came here to do? Yes. Mm. The universe has his backing. He's just feeling good sits there, mm -hmm. but he doesn't explore, he must not be afraid. Mm -hmm. What has made him so fearful moving forward with these gifts, besides being lazy and not asking? The consciousness of Earth. Mm -hmm. He was born into a consciousness that was very negative. Mm -hmm. He has to shake that up. Why did he pick that family with that consciousness? He is who he is because of his dad and mom. Mm -hmm. The mother gave him compassion and love 
his father make them strong but he was very negative mm -hmm. he at an early age made a conscious decision to turn all the negative actions as that did into a complete new version in him with all the compassion and love that his mother gave him mm -hmm. so he transformed it yes mm -hmm. he's a transformer so that's why he chose that family they yes. had the right attributes for him to be who he is he always wonder and I tell him now that's the reason why he chose that family mm -hmm. and he chose his brother because he likes to help him mm -hmm. he could do more with him but he blocks himself mm -hmm. why is it that he's not been able to get a relationship long term because he chose poorly mm. can you tell me about that what is this what did he choose he was with women that were pulling him back mm -hmm. He was just working hard, even though he loved them, but they were not beneficial to him. Mm -hmm. So it was best for him to go his own way, because mm -hmm. he's more powerful that way. Will he be able to find a woman? That doesn't pull him back? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about children? I know he lost his beloved Isabella. Yes. He's scared to love again, mm -hmm. a child. Mm -hmm. What advice do you give him about that? Not to be fearful. Not to be fearful. He should love the child before as his own. Mm -hmm. And that hurt him again. Mm -hmm. It wasn't his child. It was the child of his friend. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. That's how he gets tied up with his emotions. So what did you suggest for him now? Now that he has, he doesn't have a partner or a child, what would you say to him now? Let all the things weigh you down go. Mm -hmm. The universe will bring what you need to you. You have the right consciousness for it, work with it, and help others. In doing so, everything will fall in place. If he wants a child, that will happen to him. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I know that he has always had an Asian connection. What is his connection with the Asian people? Even the food. Has he had another lifetime there? A few. A few of them? Yes. Why are they impacting him now so much in this life? What is it about those lifetimes that he needs to know? They were good lifetimes. They were good. He was happy. Mm hmm. Would it be beneficial for him to see where he lived? All right. So I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, I'll touch your forehead and you'll be in one of those Asian lifetimes that made you so happy. And one, be there now.
Where are you? We are working the land. We're working the land. Take a look at yourself. What do you look like? I'm not that tall. Not that tall. I don't have shoes on. No shoes. I'm a farmer. Mm-hmm. Wearing straw hat. A straw hat. Tell me more. I'm thin. Thin. I'm working the land with others from my village. Mm-hmm. How do you like to look work the land with others from your village? It's fun. It's fun. What are you growing? We're growing different vegetables. Different vegetables. We're all happy. Mm -hmm. I also have a wife. Mm -hmm. You have a wife? Does she work the land with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. She does the chores that are not that intensive. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the harder work. I'm plowing the soil. Mm -hmm. She's putting down the seeds. Beautiful. And others are clearing all the old dirt out of the way. Mm -hmm. So I can continue plowing the ground. So you all work together? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are a close community. You're a close community. Very good. So let's see what happens in that lifetime. I'd like for you to close that scene and move forward now to another event in that lifetime that impacted your life there. Be there now. My wife is giving birth. Tell me more. She's in pain. She's young and she has help. Mm -hmm. There's a lady next to her guiding her. I don't know what to do. But there's other people from the village who tell me everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. So just relax. So just skip forward now and see what happens. What happens when your wife is finished giving birth? That's a boy. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Look at this baby boy. Feel the joy. Yes. I love him already so much. Mm -hmm. He's very chubby. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So let's close this scene now. Let's move farther ahead in your lifetime. When you're older and something important is happening in that life, be there now. What's I'm much it? older. Much older. I can't move a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in bed. A little sick. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? My son has brought my grandchild to see. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to me. Because mm -hmm. me and my son had a fight. But I am happy. Very good. 
So I'd like for you to close that scene and now go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself there on the last day and tell me where you are. I'm in that same bed. Mm -hmm. But now it's night. And what is it that you're thinking about in these last moments of that lifetime? How beautiful life was. My wife, I will be with her soon. Very good. Take your last breath in that lifetime. Release yourself from that body. And as you look now through that whole lifetime, you'll understand the purpose of living that life and the lessons that you've learned. What was the purpose of that life? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Did you learn to forgive? Mm -hmm. He was able to live a happy life because he forgave those around him that they wronged him. Mm -hmm. Did he learn any lessons from that life? He learned how to make his heart soft. Mm -hmm. So how is that lifetime now affecting the lifetime of Pavel? He looks back to that life. Mm -hmm. He was happy. Can he recreate the feeling of that life in this life? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the first thing he needs to do in order? To let things go, to forgive. To me, he needs to set himself free. Mm -hmm. So let's see what is holding him back. Imagine himself like a bird being held down by something. What is holding him down? He's not being held down, but he's in a cage. He's in a cage. Mm -hmm. And he's happy, even though he's in a cage. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't realize the cage is open. Mm -hmm. Is he ready to step out of that cage now? Yes, he's been ready for a while. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you, as the guides, to assist him in stepping out of that cage so he could take his first step out and fly away, fly to freedom, his own freedom. What happens? I didn't realize how much space there was outside. Mm -hmm. He didn't know what freedom really could be. Now he's free and happy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And now that he's free and happy from a different level, how can he now connect with that Akash and get information he needs? Is he able to fly to that Akash now? It's all there for him to pick from. Mm -hmm. He just needs to set the intention. Okay. So in his mind, he just needs to set the intention to know something? He needs to put forth the energy and intention into whatever it is he's going to do. Mm -hmm. He can do anything he wants, really. Mm -hmm. So if he can do anything that he wants, how is it that his body has been reacting a little strangely lately? All of this itching. That's his indecision. Mm, indecision. Yes. So when he doesn't decide, 
He feels itchy. Yes. Mm-hmm. That ambivalence gives him that itchiness because mm. his energies can't figure out where to go. Ah, so the energy is just bouncing around like in a microwave. And it expresses in that mm-hmm. itchiness. What about his eyesight? He tells me he doesn't see as well. That's because he doesn't want to see certain things. Mm-hmm. But he took that too far. He's manifesting it in himself. Mm -hmm. How can he manifest his eyesight back? All he has to do is open his internal eyes Mm -hmm. to let all the positive energy come into him. Mm -hmm. That will allow him to break through that. Where are those internal eyes located? In his heart. In his heart. His so, heart can see. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look at his heart, please. And tell me what's keeping his eyes in his heart from seeing. Does he have blinders on? He put them on himself. Mm. He shut himself off from negativity around them. Mm-hmm. But he has done it too much. Too far. It's just like that man in that cave. Mm -hmm. He put himself in there to shield himself. This time he put his eyes there. So So that's why he can't see as well. Is he ready now to remove? what he's put over his eyes? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to guide him in removing this blind, these blinders from his eyes. They're heavy. Mm-hmm. What are they made out of? Energy. Mm-hmm. So it's like Mm-hmm. Thick fog. Thick fog. Well, we can do something if they're heavy. We can always transform them into something else. So rather than trying to lift that very heavy fog off of his eyes and his heart, what can we transform this energy into so that it could lift by itself? Air. Very good. So I'd like for you to use a light to transform this fog into air so it could just lift right off. What color light would you like to use? White. Very good. So I'd like for you now to point this light into that very heavy blinder that you have over your eyes. Go ahead and keep sending it into there. Tell me what happens as you shoot that light into it. It's moving away. Mm. Because it's light. Mm -hmm. So it's leaving. Beautiful. And let's put something on those eyes to make them feel good. We can splash them with water. To not wash them. Mm-hmm. Clear them away. Nice, cool water. Rinse those eyes so they can open. And now that those eyes are open in his heart, how will that change him? He will know what positive things are good. And that will help him. Not be fearful Mm -hmm. of what he has to confront in life. Mm -hmm. He will see things clearly. So one of the things that was hard for him to confront for many years was losing his baby brother. He blames himself. Mm -hmm. What has that done to his heart? 
still aches him. Mm -hmm. He thinks about it often. Was this his responsibility? No. No. Was this one of those things that he was throwing on his back, weighing him down? Yes, and this is a big one. Mm -hmm. He thinks about this and it brings his vibration down. Mm -hmm. Would it be possible to speak with his baby brother today? Yes. All right. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, I'm going to touch your forehead and I want you to be baby Arturo. Take a deep breath in now. One, two, and three. Good evening. Hi. Hi, are you the brother of Pavel? Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You're doing great. Well, your big brother feels very guilty that you died. I know. He feels that he's responsible mm -hmm. for my death. Is it his responsibility? Did he no, actually kill you? That was you? my contract. That's your contract. Can you explain to him what that contract was all about? I had to come in and go quick. Mm -hmm. Because the family needed to go through that. What were they getting from that experience? They brought them together. They brought them together. So you were never meant to be born? No. No. So can you relieve some of this guilt that your brother is feeling? Yes. Okay. I send them the light. All right. Go ahead and send that light into his heart where he's holding that guilt. And send him love. And while you're doing that, let me speak to Pavel. Pavel, now that you understand that your baby brother was not meant to be born, how does that make you feel? I feel much better. Mm -hmm. Because I have so much guilt. Mm -hmm. It hurt at me. Of course. Where did it hurt you? Right in my heart. Yes. And now that your brother is sending you light to your heart, how does that I feel? I feel the love mm -hmm. that I always have. Mm hmm but there's something missing inside of you. It's that what's missing is for you to forgive yourself for holding that pain for so long. Because forgiveness doesn't mean that it didn't happen. It just stops the pain from thinking about it again. Are you willing now to give me all of that pain that you've been holding? All right, I'm going to go over your heart and give me all of that pain that since you've been holding since so many years this is a little boy's pain that no longer fits into this heart you've allowed it to grow too big give it all to me now you understand from the spiritual perspective that this brother came here to just join this family in their pain and not for him to be born give it all to me and let's take all of that and send it to the universe. And now with that empty feeling in your heart, what would you like to put in there instead of holding all of this pain that you've been holding for so many years? Lots of love and light. Let's put lots of love and light. Feel that love just flowing in. Flowing in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in your heart and tap it into your mind. Good. And just breathe that love through your body. It feels refreshing and warm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to disconnect now from your brother. Allow him to go to God with peace. And now, understanding this, what kind of healer can Pavel be? He was told by an intuitive that he has healing abilities. He heals people with he, his words. Mm -hmm, with his words. Because people can see his energy. Mm -hmm. Some can't feel the energy, but it affects them either way. Mm -hmm. So is that why he has once again chosen a job where he needs to be in relationship with people? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So he actually picked the perfect job, didn't he? Yes, but he can do more. And what can he do? He's interested in doing other things. He can open up. Open up about the energy he feels. He's already started to realize others just need to be tapped to be open. He's done so in a few times. Mm -hmm. He could be doing that a lot more. So just by being in the presence of others, he can open them up to their own abilities? Yes. Mm. Some just won't. But some, see, he has a special touch. Mm -hmm. It's a special way. His energy flows and opens the other person. It doesn't work on everyone. But he has great success. Mm -hmm. Good. Now he's interested in doing other commerce. That could free him up mm -hmm. to do just that. Mm -hmm. Not because of the material he will get. Not for money or all their human things. But because that would free him up. To be in touch with others so he could share his energy mm -hmm. and grow energy. He's already doing it with the ones that are close to him. Mm -hmm. He has a very strong spiritual family. They love him dearly and he does love them as well. They become very powerful when they're together. Mm -hmm. How is that group affecting the New York area? Greatly. Mm -hmm. There's so many changes happening. And each person is very dedicated in the group. Mm -hmm. But the group doesn't realize that the impact is with so much more people around. Mm -hmm. It's exponential. The minds of the people even on Wall Street are changing mm. because of the group. Wonderful. They are radiating this energy. They don't see it. And they won't see it now. But it's radiating strong energy. Wonderful. So when a group of people together meditate on a common idea to change the world how does that intention actually change them it doesn't change them but it changes the others because mm. it's already a common denominator with the ones generating this energy and consciousness when it hits the other people it, it like sparks mm -hmm. this new consciousness into them. It's like an idea. Mm -hmm. And then they are, because of the free will, they have the ability to either take it or throw it away. Mm -hmm. The thing is that this group keeps throwing strong vibrations of consciousness and is bathing people with these ideas. And the more they do it, the more likelihood it is that it catches people's low consciousness mm -hmm. to open up into the idea. Beautiful. It just takes an idea in their mind to open their consciousness. Because remember, people are very low conscious now. Mm -hmm. So when they're given consciousness, consciousness talk they omit it as false but when consciousness comes as an idea they understand that so that's how it has to start as an idea yes good so what was the idea of bringing Pavel here today he came from so far away he needed to free himself up mm -hmm. 
Because mm-hmm. he has lots of work to do. Mm-hmm. And he will do it. He's a very happy soul. That's why he connects to that family in China. Mm-hmm. He's linked to that family. He brings this happiness from those years. And he's happy. Even though he doesn't have a child in this in this time around, he can if he wishes to do so. Mm-hmm. But that's why he doesn't miss it. He has that lifetime where he was very happy with lots of family. Mm. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Pavel today? He just needs to make sure to be able to open his light and not be afraid to say it. He has much work to do with many people around him. Not all will take his light or ideas, but they will plant the seed in all of them. Mm -hmm. The seed will take some time to grow, but it doesn't matter. The important thing that he is putting those seeds in people. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even realize it that he's doing it. But his words, his manner, puts the seeds in people. That's why many people have told him whether he's spiritual or not, even though he's not, he hasn't told them anything about him. Because people can feel it mm-hmm. when they speak to him. He has a kind heart. He has a happy heart connected to that family and that's his main source of energy right now Mm. this is one of the ways he's getting energy from that lifetime yes Mm. so in this lifetime he is once again a farmer planting seeds of the creator within he does it now Mm -hmm. he just carries plants Mm -hmm. so people say you're doing too much work for just plants Mm. but he's happy with them He shares that energy with them. It's like he's meditating with his plants. Mm, Because his plants are, it's nature. Nature is a helper. Mm -hmm. And they're helping him spread that energy. Wonderful. Wonderful. You should tell him to take care of his plants. Give them away. Because he's carrying that vibration. Ah, so he's not to keep his plants. He's to give them away. Yes. Good. Good. Is there any other advice or are we complete today? He has other people that will come his way. Mm-hmm. Some women just tell him to make sure his heart is always happy. His heart has to be happy. Yes. Good. Very good. And his last relationship. He was forcing himself to love someone that he did love, but it wasn't his heart loving, it was his mind loving. Mm -hmm. Very good. Are we complete now? Thank you so much. Completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. I'm tingly and my arms are numb. Uh-huh. Oh. Your arms are numb? Yes. Well, let's change up those stones so that we can ground you. Let's ground you. Wow. What a session. Do you remember any of it? Most of it. Most of it. I, I fell deep. Hmm? I fell deep. You fell deep. Mm-hmm. You were connecting very well. It was very, uh, I could see. I only said a little bit of everything I could see. (laughs) I figured. You saw a lot of stuff, huh? I also saw that child. Mm Mm-hmm. And she's back in this life. She is. But she's obviously not mine. Mm Mm-hmm. Does that make sense to you now? A lot of things make sense. Mm-hmm. You connected a lot of dots. Mm-hmm. A lot of dots. 
There's no coincidences in life. I see that now. Mm-hmm. It feels incredible how I could just... It was in my mind. Mm-hmm. It was something deeper. Mm-hmm. I really dug deep. Yeah. And it brought stuff out that I wasn't even conscious of. Mm-hmm. You did great. And it helped me in answering. Many things mm-hmm. yeah. that I have about me. Mm-hmm. So it helps me feel lighter now. You feel lighter. You were carrying quite a bit on your back. Ever since you were a little boy, you've been carrying a lot of stuff. It was a physical thing, but I think it mm. took on a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Energetically. Yeah. Exactly. You kept putting everything back in that spot. How long do you think this session was? How did it feel to you? Half an hour, mm-hmm. 45 minutes. We're on about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Okay. We, you did a lot in a short period of time. Yes. Mm-hmm. A lot was done. Yeah. A lot more than even was said. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that this is something you want to share, or you want to keep private? Uh, I think I could share this. Yeah? So, Pavel, wow. Uh-huh. What a session. It was a trip. <laughs> um, the, the funny thing um, was that I... Your mind keeps wandering, yeah. as in meditation, it's... Your ego keeps bugging you and throwing mm-hmm. images. Yeah. What'd you do about that? I kept it away. Good. I just ignored <laughs> the Ignore whole the chatter, right? The monkey mind. Yeah, the mind just keeps throwing all this stuff to distract you, to get mm-hmm. you off. Yeah. Because um, it doesn't... It doesn't help you connect with your inner self. Yeah. It keeps going back to... Things that it could touch, smell, because mm-hmm. it doesn't know any better. Yeah. So, uh, and when it, that doesn't work, you know, that's why the body has to be relaxed. Yes. Because uh, otherwise, if something's pinching you, it's going to distract you, and the mind is like, hey, this is hurting. <laughs> so, but the thing is, when that doesn't work, then the mind goes into your memories and throw something in your face like yeah. oh by the way you need to I don't know pay this bill whatever you know <laughs> uh, so it, it throws something at you to, to like intent it's with intention yeah, that is being done and, and, and it's like remember that <laughs> or oh, package is being delivered like <laughs> really why are you trying to distract me because and I guess it's because it doesn't know any better it doesn't exactly. it doesn't work that way so it's like yeah. why are you doing something different than what I'm used to doing mm-hmm. and and it's really about you know relaxing yeah connecting to that inner self and then the deeper you go the more it just flows and, and I mean you not really you are con- flowing you not controlling it it's just coming out yeah and you saw that lifetime in a cave which was pretty wild yeah and your the death of, of your daughter was really intense. That was very intense. Right? I, I could feel it when I was there, even the emotions. Yeah. Uh, and, and and you know the whole guilt part of it, yeah. uh, the having to find hope again, mm-hmm. and glad I did. Yeah. And that was that was beautiful to see at the end. I mean. Yeah, you had your grand. Not because something bad happened. It means you can't recover from it. Yeah, there you go. Is, you have to have hope. Yes. So you told me when you opened your eyes that you were seeing a lot more than what you were saying. <clears throat> yes. Um, were you connecting more dots? More dots. I answer more questions than what you mm-hmm. asked me. Yeah. Uh, just because I was able to see. Yeah. So. That's great. Um, you know, so it's not just your 
you know, you think sometimes, oh, it's just my mind talking, and it's <laughs> not. It's really because it, it's it's bringing information that you and your mind would not know about. Right. It's, right. it's coming from much deeper that mm -hmm. consciousness that we really don't tap much into. Now you meditate a lot. I wouldn't say a lot. Compared to the normal person. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I have, uh, you know, a very good group that I do that with yeah. that helps me and has been able to help me do that. Because if yeah. it wasn't for that group, quite frankly, I, because I, uh, before them I had tried many other groups and, and uh, I, I did not find that connection until I found them. I just felt mm -hmm. like home. Yeah. Know, so. And do you think that that meditation helped you today? It helped me relax mm -hmm. and have that connection much faster. Yeah. Uh, and it's so clear in my mind. I, I, I see all the images. That's all amazing. the images. That was great. I see it clearly, crisp. <laughs> um, That's great. Yes. And each time you listen to this recording, you'll probably connect more dots. Yes. There are certain things that I have, I have to remember again because yeah. I'm not quite sure what I said. Yeah. And, and, I need to rewind yeah, that back yeah, and yeah. see that because I think it's going to help me even more. Yes. So how far did you travel to get here? Well, even before coming here, the whole experience of just booking it was incredible. <laughs> I, I I was going to take the day off just to be able to be, a, you know, paying attention to my email. Yes. But I something told me, you know what, you're going to see her either way. So just go to work. So I did. I didn't call out. I, I go to work, I check my email, there's nothing, I decide to refresh it, and guess what? It popped up. And I booked it, and I'm here. First try. Well, not only that, <laughs> I had already booked my flight. Amazing. I had already booked my flight. My flight came in on the 25th. <laughs> I booked you after my flight was that's booked. That's amazing. So that's what creating is all about. You know, when you set an I, intention, I mean, the story that you told me, Pavel just discovered me, just signed up to the newsletter. About a month ago. Just a month ago, before the session. Yep. Just discovered me, signed up for the newsletter, and the newsletter came right out, and he got first try. Everybody's like crying out there saying, no! Sorry, guys. <laughs> but that's how it works. It's divine timing. It's whenever it is. It's it, was, it was like I was telling you, I, I don't know how. It was like I, I was planning on just calling off from work just yeah. to make sure I pay attention to my email. But there, it was like something just telling me, look, you're going to see her either way. So just right. go to work. Yeah. And I did. And there I'm you here. Go. There so. you go. So hopefully you'll be in my Weehawken event. That'd be cool. Yeah, I could, yeah, I could see you over there. Yeah, that'd yeah, be cool. Yeah, um, going, when, when is that? Uh, hold on now. It's August 17th. Yeah, I'm, of course yeah. I'm back by then. Yeah, I think it's August 17th <laughs> or the 18th. I don't know. It's one of those And days. you have the New York one as well. That's the New York one. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you recommend this to other people? Yes. Uh, more than anything because um, I could understand if anybody's skeptical, but uh, uh, what I would have to say from my own experience is that as long as you're very relaxed and mm -hmm. Ava makes it, you know, she's really good at getting you there <laughs> to be able to just connect to that inner you. Yeah. And, and, and then as soon as you can do that, just let it flow. You, you don't, don't, don't think because you got to get your mind out of it. Don't try. Just let it flow. Yeah. Don't try to do anything, you know, and don't, don't say, oh, it's going to be this or that. We're not just let it. No go. expectations. No expectations. Just l be like a blank piece of paper <laughs> and just let let yourself write this, the, the, you know, the story with uh, Alba uh, holding the pen, maybe, or providing yeah. the ink, or I don't know. Who, who knows? So just, just. So that's just good, like that. good advice for everybody. That okay. really is. So if you'd like a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Mm -hmm. Sign up for that newsletter. It comes out once a month, and as Pavel said, just let it go. Just set your intention and just let it happen. Okay, if you're meant to be there, you will be there. But when someone tries too hard, you're resisting. So let it flow when it's the right time you'll be on this couch with me. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and learned a few things. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you. Okay, guys. Give me that hug. Thank you.